Earlier this week, we told you how these resale sneaker stores in Houston, mom and pop shops, are being hit time and time again by an organized burglary ring. And now there is another store that has come forward with more victimization. Owners of Space City Collective say they've been hit three times in as many months. Joining us now here on the Factory on Censored owners Christian Giovanni. Uh, Christian and Giovanni Guzman and Mitch Garza. Glad to have you all here on The Factor Uncensored. First of all, when you guys realized you were being victimized, what was that like as owners to have someone come into your shop and take what you've worked so hard for? So at first, um, there's a store across from us called Urban Assault that they got hit like a week before us. So when they got hit, it felt like we got hit. So we're kind of on the radar about that. So whenever they did hit us, um, it wasn't too much of a surprise because all these sneaker shops been um, getting robbed constantly. It's been over a dozen. We've lost over 100 to 150,000 in just merchandise, and that's not including the damage they did to the buildings. We spent over 10,000 on metal garages to secure our location. So you did the work in the beginning, yeah, hoping that this would not happen. Yeah, we and it made no difference. Yes, we inve we invested over ten thousand in garage doors um, to secure the spot, but they ran a truck through the front. So now we had to invest another five thousand to um, get metal poles installed in order for they won't slam the trucks into the the storefront. And when you see the video just how violent they are to get to your product that you've worked hard to build up. What is that like to see someone just walk out with your like life's they, work? It feels like they ripped something out of you, you know? Like, I actually woke up at 5 a.m. I have a ring uh, doorbell on the, at the store, and I got a notification saying that there was somebody at my door at 5 a.m. So I wake up and I start, I see that these guys reversing the truck and the, the building. I start calling him, I get ready. I get there within 10 minutes and they're gone. They were in it for, they were in for like four minutes. So th they have the same pattern that they're breaking into stores. They know they have four to five minutes that before the cops get caught and they just do, it's like a snatch and grab. Yeah. And what you've seen on video, does it seem like they're very organized, that they've done this before? Yeah, it looks like they've been, like they've been doing it before. Like, I don't know. Honestly, they just grab what they can because whenever they recently got us, they took a bunch of left shoes. They didn't even get the pairs. Mm -hmm. So you can't even do anything with just the left pair. They did get a couple of the, ho the but sets. But it leaves you in the hole because yeah. you don't have that left Now we're pair. stuck with rights that, I mean, we or can't do anything. super expensive rights. <laughs> yeah. They took a pair of shoes that was worth $15,000. That's horrible. $15, Wait, repeat that one more time. They, they stole a pair of shoes that was worth $15,000. And it was a... Uh, Kanye West when he was with back with Nike it's called a red October and the shoe is super exclusive you can't find it anywhere so right here um it's about 15,000 so right here Isaiah this is this was Tuesday December 7th they came and slammed the U-Haul and the back Into of our neighbor's. brick wall so this this is our neighbor's shop actually so they went through your neighbor to get to you no this was their attempt to get to us okay right. they hit the wrong spot they realized they hit the wrong spot abandoned the U-Haul came back two days later, slammed through the front. It's so like there's no twice in these guys. Mm -hmm. Twice in one week. And it's relentless. It's relentless. If you see these guys, they know exactly what they're doing. So do you think at this point, because I've done story after story about mom and pop shoe stores being broken into, do you think HPD, Harris County, law enforcement agencies out there should start a task force they should. to focus on these guys on because they are wreaking havoc yeah. in this city. And the thing is, a lot of us, like, we started the store with our own money. They're taking money from us. It's we're not like businesses. we're like a big corporation. Mm -hmm. So they're taking food off our family's tables. And it's just, especially during the holidays. They always do it during the holidays. And why do you think HPD or law enforcement in general, whether it be Harris County or some constable's office that you may be located in their area. Actually, Why do you think they are not taking it seriously or doing more? When they came, um, they told us in that night alone there's over 200 burglaries like all around the city. We're basically just another burglary. Yeah, the cop mm -hmm. didn't, he so was kind of nonchalant about it. He was like, oh, just another burglary. And we're like... How does that leave you feeling? You've lost what you've worked for. Yeah, exactly. And it's like we can't oh, keep taking these losses. We're going to end up being out of business if they keep you know, vandalizing our business, so 
I think the cops do need it. We actually, uh, we talked to a couple of different store owners all around the city, and we're trying to get, like, a, like you said, like a task force specifically for these guys, because it's the same, it has to be the same group. They're always wearing the same, like, the same jackets. You can tell it's the same guys. And for those who would like to get into contact with you, other store owners, where can they find you? Uh, Instagram, space, underscore, city collective. Same thing on Facebook. All right. We want to thank you guys for dropping by and wish awesome. you the best. Appreciate you having us, sir. Still ahead here on